All right, you have been asked to use Desmos to develop a trend line and to calculate a correlation coefficient. So I want to run a quick refresher on that and give you another example. I'm going to be using data from this problem. It says a dietetics student wanted to look at the relationships between calcium intake and knowledge about calcium in sports science students. Table 1 shows the data. So the respondent number is simply the person being studied. And we are interested in taking a look at whether or not there's a correlation between their knowledge about something and um, how they use that knowledge. So this is the data that we're, I'm going to enter into the table. If you have data that's already in Excel form, you can just copy and paste it into Desmos. But I am going to have to go ahead and enter that data by hand. So I'm going to pause this video and I will put that data in. I'll, I'll show you the start here. We're going to see if the knowledge, if the calcium intake is dependent on the knowledge. So we're going to make X our knowledge. So our first knowledge score for our first person was 10, and our intake was 450 milligrams a day. So I've got 20 of those to put in. I'm going to pause the video and go ahead and put those in. Okay, so I have taken all the data from this table from the information given here between knowledge score and calcium intake for all these people, and I have put it into a table in Desmos. So here we have their knowledge about something and how they actually behaved here. So now we're going to see if there's a correlation. First I'd like to um, get this so it, uh, it appears over here. It looks like our x variable goes somewhere between 10 and 50. So maybe we'll do um, open this up to 60 here and y is going from looks like our lowest number is 300 400 something our highest number is 1050 so maybe we'll go from 400 to 1100 so maybe we'll go from 400 to 1100 there that creates a scatter plot that we can see a little bit better. You can barely see on the bottom here the x values, but this is our data spread. Now what we'll do is we will go down and we will have Desmos calculate our line of best fit. M X. I'm just pressing Y1 on the keyboard and then the little tilde and then X1 from the keyboard along with M and I am also just using the keyboard to enter this information and now we have our trend line and you can see down here our correlation coefficient. So our trend line is Y equals um, or Calcium intake seems to equal 13.89 times their knowledge score plus 373.74. So it, it looks like without any knowledge at all, this your intake is about this number. But anyway, the number that we're looking at right now is 0 0.0082. First of all, that number is positive, and we can see that the correlation is positive because it goes up from left to right. As X goes up, as your knowledge score goes up, your calcium intake also seems to go up. And it looks like it's fairly strong. 0.882 is a very strong. Remember, the highest number you can have for your correlation coefficient is either a positive one or a negative one if the line is going down from left to right, if um, Y is going down as X goes up. So, 0.882 is a very strong positive correlation coefficient and that once again is presented right here in the program. Um, we can go over our squared numbers and some of this other stuff but your exercise for this item um, in this lesson is to 
take a look at calculating these R values for the problems you've been given.